So this stuff is the papillae of the esophagus. Okay. Okay. This is the esophagus. It's kind of rougher. You can feel it. It goes down to the stomach. These are the livers. These big gray ones right here. And then this guy's the stomach. And then the stomach goes to the intestines, which you can see is like the white band. And then this gray thing is the spleen. Pancreas, this little kind of yellowy looking spongy guy. What is it attached to? Intestine? Yeah. Okay, so this is the lesser, this is the greater. And so that um, over on this side it's gonna be the lesser omentum, and on this side it's gonna be the greater omentum. Spiral valve. Why does that differ from the rest of the intestine? Have it because there's spirals on it, or is that very nice? Yeah, it's the spiral valve. Yay! Okay. Big thing, valvular intestine. Okay. That is a digiform gland, which I believe it's also what? the rectal gland. The testes is that bulge down there under the livers. Gallbladder. So this is the peritoneal cavity and the pericardial cavity, and it's separated by the transverse septum. What is this thing called that he was asking us? Form ligament. It's the falciform ligament and it usually is pulled upward like this attached to the bottom of the shark. So you can see the inner lining, see that kind of shinier lining just right there? You can see the differentiation between where the muscle is and the shiny lining? That's the, uh, the uh, parietal pericardium and then the visceral pericardium is over the heart itself, that thin layer. Mesogaster is up here, and then so this is the mesogaster over here under this. Oh, okay. So this is the mesogaster. Like the little drawing he did with the yellow stuff. Yeah, and then like it, whatever it's after called. that, it's the mesentery proper. Yeah. This is the mesentery proper, and then down way down here is the uh, mesostelum. Mesocolon. So up into your stomach, which is like, looks like, oops, ends right about here, approximately, forward, is your mesaster. <laughs> I don't say that very well. Mesocaster. From here <laughs> to here, this is kind of hard to see. So that, only that portion is the large intestine. Only that little, little bit. That's really small. I know, it makes no sense. It's counterintuitive. But that's the only part that has that run it. So the other part is the mesentery proper from here down. Okay. Mesentery proper. Those are the only two mesenteries on that side that you can Oh, besides the mesocolon, which, like I said, which is over this part right here. What are you considering the cardiac? All all of this is cardiac? No, see where it's papillae? That's mm -hmm. esophagus. Mm -hmm. See where it's rugae? That's stomach. Uh, so yeah. just this first part there is the uh, cardiac region. Okay, so you found that cardiac and pyloric, and we don't need to worry about the gastric body part or gastric body. Yeah, yeah, it's in the middle. Body. Okay. This is the cardiac region up here, and then down here is the um, pyloric region. And then these little uh, struts are called rugae. Rugae. First of all, are these things the rakers, these little things sticking yeah. out? Okay. So then what's, and then the lamella is this internal, these like little. Yeah, those little gray things. Okay. So then branchial arch and gill rays. The okay, rays. so a gill arch, right? Gill branch, branchial arch is a gill arch. And so that's the cartilage that forms the arch. So you cut right through it right there. I can see that oh, round thing. Oh, so it was kind of like. It comes all the way up from, uh, from top, in this case, top to bottom. Cartilage that I cut through, yeah. And then the gill rays. And so these little things radiate outward. But those are the lamella. And well, those are the gill lamella, but there's little um, pieces of cartilage that radiate outward as well. So rays are. So on the test, the if you rays, pointed yeah, to that, what would we say? Would we say lamella? Or you'd have to specify cartilage. Yeah, if you scraped off the lamella, you'd see the little gill oh. rays. In fact, if you look at the, um, uh, in our Compact cabinet, we've got some pictures of the uh, cartilage of the uh, branchial basket. 
and so you can actually look at it without the gills and without the skin and without all that stuff on it. Oh. Uh, can't really scrape it off that well, I guess. So it's like under the lamella? Yeah. Yeah, it's supporting the lamella is basically what it is. That's the bile duct right there. Yeah. Oh, oh so they're not connected to each other? The gall, yeah. the base of the gallbladder here is connected to the bile duct, yeah. yes. Oh, okay, okay. That's the uh, mandibular adductor, and each branchial arch also has an adductor, but it's tiny. And so the muscle would be right next to the uh, um, cartilaginous arch. So there's the cartilaginous arch, and there's the wow. adductor muscle right there. Yeah. The interbranchial muscles, those are going to be... Um, those are going to be out here in yeah. the septum. And so they're underneath this, where the gill rays are, there's going to be muscles connecting the gill rays together. But those are just nothing you're going to see. It's just mm -hmm. something you just know is there. Like gill pouches. So the arteries would just be like somewhere over here? It would be right in here. Um, so did you see the picture of the, the gill of 